This video segment features how to use the new Photoshop document importer for GL Studio 4.1. The importer dramatically reduces the time required to generate 2D panel knobology from photographs by preserving the Photoshop image layering and groupings. As you would imagine, this process starts upstream from the GL Studio development process in Adobe Photoshop. The importer for GL Studio utilizes the layering capabilities of the Photoshop product. The layers and groups within this file translate into the geometry and group hierarchy in GL Studio. Knobs, push buttons, and switches are auto-generated based on keywords. The top level group defines the class name of our object. In this case, it is called Radio Panel and the design width and height. The naming convention on the group indicates this will be an application. Inside this top level layer, we find a number of sublayers. These will define our specific objects, such as knobs, as well as our specific geometry, such as polygons. Let's start with one of the knobs on this panel so we can show you how it is laid out. The geometry element in here is labeled as a polygon, and if we open it, we can see it utilizes Photoshop's smart object capabilities. These smart objects serve as a way to create modular designs inside Photoshop, and the GL Studio importer supports them. In addition to the polygon element, the layer also contains several color-coded layers that serve as helper elements during the import process by describing how the knob should behave. The layers just above the polygon contain the keywords mark and pivot. These define the pointing end of the knob and the rotation point. The next four purple dots describe the knob's detent positions. These become the mark's snap to positions when the knob is rotated at runtime. Buttons have a very similar configuration. In this button group, we can see this push button is named Button 1. It also contains additional keywords to make the button behave as a toggle that starts in the down position. Contained inside this group are the two named layers that represent the up and down depictions of Button 1. Using this grouping and layering convention, combined with simple keywords, a graphics artist can now streamline the development of common GL Studio interface types while they create the image assets. Using the File Import menu on GL Studio, you select the PSD file and then select Open. In just a few moments, the importer reads the file contents to create the appropriate geometry and hierarchy structure and also generates a runtime-ready, delayered PNG image file for the application. If we look in the hierarchy view, we can see that the hierarchy defined in the Photoshop file is maintained. We have the top level group, the subgroup for all the buttons, and below that are all of the knobs. Since this is now true GL Studio geometry, we can grab and resize the content as we need. Let's take a closer look at some of the imported content. First, let's take a look at button 1. As indicated in the Photoshop layer keyword, this is a toggle button starting in the down state. Also, the mode knob we looked at in Photoshop is already rotated and snapped to its first detent position. Notice the helper layers that described the mark point, the pivot point, and the detent positions are discarded from the file automatically. Now, without any coding required, we will use the Java Code Generator capabilities for GL Studio to create a live interactive radio panel that only existed as a Photoshop file 60 seconds ago. Here we can see our application running in Java, complete with all of the button and knob behaviors we were expecting to see, and all of it done without any coding. The new Photoshop document importer enables extremely efficient panel development. If you'd like to have a look at the importer, please request a download for GL Studio.